We're now going to wrap up the work done so far into a capture rig asset. And this is an asset that will uh, be part of the animation rig, uh, which can be passed on to animators. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all the pack, all the geometry, the deforming geometry with all of its capture weights, and we're going to export that out as a individual file. We're going to call that fur dude capture, capped rather, shorten that up a bit, and we just need it for one frame so we'll save that to disk in the geo directory. Similarly we're going to go over to uh, the skeleton after the mirror and after the orienting of the joints and we're going to put a ROP geometry node down there as well. And this we can also put out as a BGO, so slash geo slash, and this we'll call fur dude underscore scale for the skeleton. And again, um, single frame, so we just have to put that out. So the, everything we've done so far has been about capturing geometry, and we can keep that around, and maybe we'll just uh, call that the capture, so for dude capture. This is the directory structure. In case we ever need to go back, maybe after we build the animation rig later, um, we say, oh, you know, something needs to be fixed or some weights need to be painted. In the meantime, we're going to hide that. Now we're going to get a file uh, here. We're going to go to the geo directory and we're going to get the uh, capture BGO that we just made. And we're going to accept that and press enter to place that at the origin. So this looks just like the model we had at the very beginning. The difference though is it has capture weights on it, uh, which when uh, combined with the skeleton will give us um, a workable rig. So we're going to call this overall object dude rig. We're going to alt copy that over uh, so that we can get the skeleton as well. And there we go. And we probably want to rename that. Enter. .bg, BGO. Okay. So now we've got these two and within this asset we need a way of getting them out. So we're going to make them into a digital asset. Let's start by uh, calling it fur dude fur underscore dude capture and this is going to be the capture rig. Now we can just capitalize a couple of those things in the label and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, asset directory, we're going to put it where the hip file is, there's an HDA directory, and we're going to go fur dude capture rig. You know what, we don't need the name to be that complicated. In this case, um, we're just going to go fur dude, because we're actually going to use the same digital asset library uh, to store the animation rig later. So we'll make the, the name a little bit more generic. Now we're going to have three outputs and the way that this happens, there's our output number one and we can actually name that. We're going to do that capture geo and then we can alt um, copy that and we're going to do that two times and feed the skeleton into both of those and we're going to call those uh, rest scale skeleton and the last one we're going to go animated so anim scale skeleton now we're getting a bit of an error on that and that's because we need to give them each a separate index so we'll give that one an index of one and this an index of two so now that they all have that this node when you go up one level will have three outputs and each of these outputs either gives you the skeleton or the geometry and we'll keep the geometry as the, the main visible one. 
Now we've created this as an asset, so we're going to go into this assets um, properties, and we're going to go to an area called extra files. Because one of the problems we have right now is that the BGO files are coming off disk, which means that this asset is not very portable. So what we want to do is we want to take that capture geo and skeleton geo and actually add it to the digital asset itself. So instead of being on disk, it's going to be saved in there. And then we add the file. Now we're going to bring in the skeleton one and we're going to add the file. And you can see two files listed there. So this, again, like I said, really helps with the portability of the file because now we can take this digital asset and share it with different artists and they're not they don't have to worry about referencing a file on disk that may not they may not have available. The the setup we have right now isn't quite right though. We've still got a, an extra step to do. So we've added the files to the digital asset, but we're still referencing those original ones on disk. So what we need to do is go here, go op def. So that's op def, so that's the operator definition, and then we're going to scroll down until we find basically fur dude there we do fur dude capture rig and there's the capture geometry and accept and so now you see we get this expression opdef etc and we can do the same thing for this so opdef sop fur dude and this time we use the scale so now we are actually referencing the version of those files that are inside the asset, not the one that's currently on disk. This Now we've got things in a good place to be portable. Now we can lock this, and we're going to save the changes. Now you'll notice the asset is now locked. That's ideally what we would want if we were to pass it to someone else. Uh, don't tinker with it. But what we can do is outside of it, we can add a bone to form and shift click those three and then connect them there and then we're going to put in a uh, rig pose and just test that we have the ability to that the capture weights have been brought over properly the bones have been brought, brought over properly and we have the ability to manipulate this so if we bring this over uh, we go th there we go the bones are there and we can grab any one of them and we can start posing and yes the deformations that we had saved with the PGO file um, are coming with this and available for deformations at this point. So that's great news. And if we were to grab a few joints here, yes, all of that's deforming properly. And so this will be the core of the animation rig, which we're going to build over the next few steps. Uh, but the capture uh, portion of it contains the bones and the geometry with proper capture weights. And uh, you can manipulate from there.